The observer. The sage. Stepping into the spotlight. If your ideal pastime is to curl up with a good book, shut out the noise of the world for a while, and to indulge in pure escapism, or perhaps enjoy increasingly your learning capacity, then you may well wear the mantle of the observer, also known as the sage. Their characteristics include an unconventional curiosity, intelligence and intuition with a real thirst for knowledge. Learning comes high on their list of priorities and people who need their expertise gravitate towards them. In light, you are wise and insightful, understanding and analytical and have a real mentoring, teaching quality about you. Once upon a time, these were the scribes, the monks, the philosophers of the world, which is why they're often referred to as the sage. These days, they're more the nerdy computer geek or eternal student. A sage can escape into a world of unreality, which is often a lonely place, mainly due to the quiet demeanor they're found on the edges of society, enjoying their observational viewpoint, preferring to protect their sensitive souls rather than to force interaction. They have deep thinking abilities and love the chance to investigate odd snippets of information pertaining to life. They have the capacity to see all, but often fall foul to their darker characteristics. What does that mean? It means they can have less focus on relationships and often slip out of the moment, finding it difficult to interact with those people who are close to them. This ability to shut down and to emerge in an inner world often makes others feel neglected and shut out. If we use Omar as an example, we can better understand how the observer can sometimes fail to perform well under the scrutiny of a high-pressured environment. Omar was bullied profusely when young. Nothing serious, but the tedious and regular barrage of abuse had him shunned by his peers. An observer by nature, his sensitive disposition made it very difficult for him to join in. Others saw him as being a nerdy kid which instantly made him a prime target. Omar remained introverted throughout school, but having excelled academically through his learning years, he joined an innovative, fast-moving IT company on the cutting edge of technology and software development. As you would expect, Omar, as a trainee, excelled. He worked quietly, enjoying time on his own, continued to develop his skills by learning new techniques, and he found himself enjoying the interaction with many of his workmates who, like him, were a little introverted. They just seemed to understand each other. Omar was asked to project manage his newly designed software and train the customer service team to use it efficiently and effectively. This is where his lack of confidence was evident. He didn't like standing in the limelight. It became even more evident during the training sessions as he struggled to manage a loud and unfocused group of employees. He found their inability to concentrate and their high volume highlighted his inadequacies. And this was a sinister reminder of his earlier school years being bullied and he didn't relish his time in the limelight. Rather than lose his job, Omar sought out the help of a life coach, someone he could trust. This allowed him to see that confidence and communication were simply a new skill set that he could learn. Tapping into his intuitive wisdom, Omar already knew that learning means power. Understanding his personality type made it easier for Omar 
to stand up and communicate with confidence. While his natural preference had been to always be in the sidelines, he eventually realised that he could rise to the challenge that came hand in hand with a highly pressured workplace. By embracing and holding on to his power, he found new experiences and feelings. And this allowed him to move forward into life and life's energy. He understood that sometimes you need to move away before you can see where you are. He discovered that knowledge can be a fortress or a drawbridge to new experiences.